Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to show you something. Um, it's just a demonstration. It, this isn't um, for anybody. I had about three people, like two or three people, ask me um, what the famous... Um, actually, they asked me um, what I thought about um, menstrual blood giving it uh, to the to men. Um, well, in Mexico, we, um, like in the ancient uh, years and years ago, women would make some this famous thing called te de calzon. It literally means um, uh, underwear tea, so, or tea of underwear. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You can um, give this. This will only work if you're living with someone or um, if you have a boyfriend who's coming over, um, then this is just to dominate them. It's very, very, very simple. You can do it with um, either with your underwear or a sock. Um, and the sock, if you do your sock, it's more like to dominate the person, um, to just have them like um, right up under you. Um, so, but... For the most part, it is used with dirty underwear. Um, if you're on your menstrual cycle and you get it, um, and you get blood on your underwear, then that's fine. You can use that too. But I'm going to show you um, how you can do it. So a lot of people might think that this is um, disgusting, but you know what? In magic, anything, anything. Anything goes, anything can be used. Um, I, if some people say, oh, can I do something at home? Well, this is something that you can do. And you can do it as many times as you want, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to get holy water. Um, don't use regular water. Use holy water. So you're going to, this is just not, this is just a demonstration. This isn't actually, um, like I said, someone's spell. So you're going to put holy water in there. Okay, then you are going to grab your underwear, and these are actually mine, but um, you are only going, you're not going to use the whole thing. You're only going to grab the, the crotch part right here, and you are going to um, cut it. So cut here, cut there, only the crotch part. And they have to be dirty, okay? So I'm just going to use this as an example. And you just put it in there. All right. And then, um, let me see. Once you start, I'll just use this. Once it starts boiling, you just kind of want it um, to get to a boil. And when it starts boiling, you are going to um, kind of just put your energy into it, your hands over it. Um, you can do this. Um, people that do energy work, um, it's really good. So kind of just put your hands over it. And you are going to say spirit, body, and soul of, you know, the person's name. So I'm going to say John Doe. Spirit, body, and soul of John Doe. You will drink this water and you will not look, listen, touch, kiss, or love any other woman that's not me, Jane Smith. I dominate you, John Doe, and you will drink this water, and I will live in your head, your body, your soul, your heart, and your sexual parts. Okay? You want to say that three times. You just, as long as you just get your energy into it. Okay? Remember, it has to be holy water. So, let's just say that this is done already. Now, with this water, you can make coffee, cook, um... Pasta, like anything, um, tea, uh, make sure that you're not the one that's drinking it. So you just give this to your partner and this can be used for men and women. Okay. So this is very simple. Um, you can also, like I said, use it with the sock or, um, menstrual blood, um, on your underwear. Okay. So if you have any questions, um, just email me. And, um, again, this is just something, um, 
I just feel like this is the same as effective. There are some women that don't menstruate. Um, so this is just um, the dirtier your underwear is. I know it's disgusting. It's nasty. But this women in Mexico actually do this. Um, I remember um, people always talking that when the, the guy's like really stupid over the girl and she's dominating him and does whatever he wants to with her. Um, people say, oh, yeah, well, she must have given him te de calzón. Um, so, yeah, try it and let me and um, let me know how it goes.